Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this is the pretest for equations part two. All right, so we're going to solve this equation. So I wrote it over here. I started by subtracting 24 from both sides. That left me with 4x equals negative 12. Then I divided both sides by 4, so x equals negative 3. It's a two-step equation. This one, I have 4x plus 8 minus 2x. I started by combining these two terms. So I'm going to combine those two terms into a 2x plus 8 equals 18, subtracting 8 from both sides, so 2x equals 10. And dividing both sides by 2 gives me x equals 5. This one, I'm going to start with some distribution. So I'll distribute, and that gives me 6x plus 18 equals 6x plus 2. You notice that there's a 6x on both sides that I can cancel out, leaving with 18 equals 2, which means no solution. I'm going to start by distributing that 1 half. So half of 4 is 2, and half of 12 is 6. So I have 2x plus 6 equals negative 4. Subtracting 6 from both sides gives me a negative 10 over here. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me a negative 5. Right here, I started with some distribution. So I have 2x minus 6 plus 21. 2x minus 6 plus 21 equals negative 3. Then I combined these two terms. The 21 and the negative 6 becomes a 15. Subtracting 15 from both sides gives me 2x equals negative 18. Right here, same sign, add and keep. Dividing both sides by 2. Negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9, because a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And a negative 9 is my answer, and you can't see what I'm doing. Dividing both sides by 2 gives me a negative 9. This one. So notice here that I have variables on both sides of the equation. I prefer to subtract the 3x from both sides to keep my x's positive. You could have subtracted 5x from both sides. But I started with the 3x. They cancel out. 5x minus 3x is 2x, and so I have 2x plus 19 equals negative 5. It's a two-step equation. Subtracting 19 from both sides, these cancel out. Dividing both sides by 2, the 2's cancel out. x equals negative 12. Similar type of problem, but this time I have to distribute. So I started with the distribution, 6x minus 15. 6x minus 15 equals 24x plus 12 equals 24x plus 12. I need to get all my x's to one side. I chose to subtract 6x from both sides. That way my x's would stay positive. These cancel out. Negative 15 equals 18x plus 12. Subtracting 12 from both sides, they cancel out. Negative 15 minus 12 is negative 27. Negative 27 equals 18x, dividing both sides by 18. And it simplifies down to a negative 1.5. I guess you could also simplify it to, what's that, negative 27 over 18, which is negative 3 over 2. Since... It doesn't really tell you if it wants a fraction or a decimal. Both are probably fine. Number 8, I'm going to start by distributing the 1 half. Half of 2 is 1. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Half of 6 is 3. Half of 8 is 4. I'm going to move all the x's to, in this case, the right side, subtracting x from both sides right here, subtracting it. That way, x stays positive. So I have negative 3 equals 2x plus 4, subtracting 4 from both sides. That gives me a negative 7. Negative 7 equals 2x, dividing both sides by 2. So x equals negative 3.5. Negative 1 third of 9x. Negative 1 third of 9x. That's going to give me negative 3. Negative 1 third of negative 6 is positive 2. Plus 3x equals 4x minus 8. So I did my distribution. I'm going to combine these two terms. So a 3x plus a 3x, they cancel out. I'm left with 2x equals 4x minus 8. Adding 8 to both sides takes that to a 10. Dividing both sides by 4 takes it to a 2.5. A 
And that is it for the pretest for equations part two. Thanks for watching.